so what is the gamma 2.2 that you see on your computer settings so to describe this we first have to describe how a camera sees light I'll draw a little XY diagram here and we'll have zero light with a little moon stars whatever then we'll have 100% light right here which is let's say a very bright day and we'll call it actual actual light and over here is our eyeballs not really but Here's our, how our eyes see it. There we go. All right, oh no, here's the bright sunlight. Yes, it's already confusing as hell. Anyhow, so a camera sensor will see everything linearly, meaning zero light is zero light, 50% light is 50% light, 100% light is 100% light. Now, to make things complicated, this is not how we see light. How we see light is more logarithmic, meaning it's curved. So when the actual light is 50%, we're only actually perceiving about 25%. And this happens because we need to be able to see in a very low light as well as very bright light like the day. Uh, the, our cameras on the other hand are more efficient in the really bright areas and less efficient in low light. That's why I see manufacturers always trying to set, upsell their cameras for being good in low light. So why don't we just take the linear curve and bring it up to match the curve of how we perceive light? Well the problem with that is when we do that uh, we just make the actual picture look very washed out. So Gamma 2.2, what it's doing is it's reading that and it's making the display also logarithmic, but the other way. So it balances out how we see it and again makes that linear line in a correct, well-exposed looking image.